Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a proper headshot in Adobe After Effects without any third party plugins. So believe me when I say this awesome people that killing people has never been cheaper. You get it? Third party plugins? Cheaper. See? Bad joke. Anyways, so what you see right now on the screen awesome people is what I'm going to be showing you today. And uh, you can see that awesome people, this is a little more towards the realistic side of VFX. Uh, I've seen these YouTube videos where uh, the like when the headshot takes place, like the bullet goes to the head, the entire head goes off. And according to me at least, that looks a little cartoonish, it doesn't look very serious. And if you're making a serious short film uh, or on suicide or, or you're doing uh, a fight sequence where there are headshots involved, uh, that wouldn't get the work done. So hopefully this tutorial is going to inspire you, give you some ideas on how to create a, a proper headshot in Adobe After Effects. So without any further delay, awesome people, let's get started. So this is the footage, all right? And this is uh, something that you can download, by the way. So link in the description. And uh, you can see that awesome people, um, how the actor actually uh, acts for this thing. So if you're wondering how to shoot something like this, um, the, it, it's, it's kind of easy. Just ask your actor to act really sad, okay? Point the gun at his head and then to do this jerk motion. Also awesome people, make sure that he doesn't actually shoot himself. That is gonna, you know, result in a very, very awkward uh, situation. Awkward to say the least. So make sure that doesn't happen. And uh, the joke is, I think, gonna be enough to sell the shot. So you can uh, bring the shot in, in into After Effects, into Premiere, and you can do this thing. So this, this joke motion is very, very important. All right, so I'm gonna take this, actually, created a composition already and the main thing awesome people is to mark out the timing so to where exactly are you going to work because and th this is very important because awesome people this vfx is going to be a very very small thing it's literally going to be about four to five frames not seconds only frames so it's very important for you to do this all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create an end layer so i'm going to go for end type an end I'll create a black layer and i'm going to scratch it or actually drag it over there. So now if I was to play it, you can see it looks like this. Now, if I was to add a good music, a sad music track, add that uh, gunshot uh, sound effect, this would sell, but because I'm a motion graphics artist, because I'm a VFX artist, I'm gonna see to it that this looks even better. And the one way to do this is to create a glow effect. So I'm gonna create a new solid, and the awesome people, the color of the solid is basically gonna depend on the color theme of the shot so you can see how my shot has yellow color i'm gonna go for an orangish yellowish solid i'm gonna take my ellipse tool i'm gonna create a mask like this right so basically covering the gun and his head and i'm gonna hit the f key and i'm gonna create a nice feather now also we will bring this below the end layer and i'm gonna change the blend mode to add so it looks something like this i'm gonna increase it just a bit by using the mask expansion there you go that awesome people is sort of looking good now this again awesome people since this is a very small vfx this thing cannot scratch forever we need to trim it uh, i'm gonna scratch this now to somewhere i think only about about i think right there so again this is what it looks like one two three right this looks good next awesome people what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in a muzzle flash uh, thing now this is from video go pilot i'm sure you guys know that already and you can see awesome people how there is this glow going over the letterboxing. So what we'll do is we'll create our own letterboxing. I'll create LB, make this black. Actually the color doesn't matter, I'm just doing it for proper organization. Break the link from scale to 80 and change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha. So you can see we have this proper cut effect right there. Before, after. Alright, so this is good. Next awesome people is to uh, composite our muzzle flash properly. So I'm going to bring this over there and I'm going to take this muzzle flash, change the blend mode to add and I'm going to rotate it just a bit so it matches my gun trajectory like that. Maybe even scale it a bit so it looks like this part. Uh, I could animate it, hit the P key over there, move, ahead, move back in time and just a little bit. That's it, right? See that? That's it. 
okay so it's still not looking that good but it will look that good uh, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this orange solid hit the M key and delete the mask um, I'm gonna hit the T key for opacity and bring down the opacity to somewhere about 15 so it just creates this very slight effect and it has this position animation right I'm gonna uh, hit the stopwatch so all the position animation goes away reset it so it comes back to the center so when the headshot takes place there's a slight glow in the full scene now in order to sell the headshot a little bit better the, the, the jerk motion is definitely going to help you but you can create a small scale animation just a bit go one frame back before the actual headshot take this to about 110 one, two, and go two or three frames ahead now and do a reset so this is what it's going to look like see that now that is definitely looking good so uh, in one frame it's going to zoom up scale up and then it's going to slowly go back this is going to sell the animation definitely hmm. now this this glow is looking a little too much like it it hits the eye now we know that there's a shot there's a gunshot taking place but a gunshot wouldn't create a very circular glow effect the muzzle shot looks good but this circular thing doesn't look good so i'm gonna have to bring down the opacity a bit and maybe i can even change the shape like that. and uh, maybe change the mask path bring it down actually take it up and also change the feather that i think looks definitely good so play it now Doosh. next awesome people now again this is looking good next what we can do is we can bring in some blood so again this is again from vta copilot uh what i would say is go for these splat effects so blood splat one uh i, I think three is really cool so uh, like three matches the direction that we are working on or at least i'm working on so i'm gonna take this th third one bring it below the orange layers okay and i'm gonna bring it right there so five there right i'm gonna bring it at near his head like that i'm gonna duplicate this hit the s key and make this one a little bit bigger Doosh. now the problem is that the blood spatter i think kind of stays static so we'll have to put a position animation to it so i'm going to delete this uh, the, the duplicate that we made hit the p key to the original one start its animation okay like this play it see how it looks okay that i think definitely looks good so i'm gonna duplicate this now hit the s key 150 the scale uh, go here make it like this right and i think i should bring down the opacity of this just a bit so i think about 50 percent like that. okay uh you know what we'll sync it with the orange flash i'm gonna hit the t key and i'm gonna bring the opacity down just a bit of this so we're gonna basically see this a little bit but it's gonna be okay see that yes now that looks a lot better because of the opacity gone problem like because i reduce the opacity that is something that we can let slide now if you really are a perfectionist and you want like a perfect shot what you can do is you can do like a small rotoscopy on his head and you can just roto the head out keep the head on top of the metal uh, of the muzzle flash and work like that so you get that perfect effect so you get that flash and you get that impervious effect so you get this much part but this much part is being hidden because his head now this looks good but we can add in a few more elements from i think black burst like there And uh, one good way to blend this in to our scene is by using a bl uh, some blur effects. Now, uh, instead of going for Gaussian blur that I mostly use for motion graphics, the best blur would be directional blur. So take it, drop it onto this, and if you were to and if you were to increase a blur, you can see that it looks good. But we can also adjust the direction for which it's in. So see this? This is looking good add one more hit the s key increase its size now somewhere about there play this okay we clearly need to trim that trim that um we can actually just trim it you know select both the layers hit the alt key and uh, press 
um, the left arrow or uh, uh, left bracket key so there you go now I think the blood splashes are actually ruining the scene see that that is actually ruining the scene so what we'll do is we'll either make them very very small so that post S key seriously small very small and I'm gonna just put it right there right so it, with the blood it's coming out hit the T key reduce opacity just a bit there you go I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one that boost bring it over here T key opacity just a bit this is what we have I would say that this is a little too much taking it a little ahead but if you were to spend in a little more time uh, doing this properly you can definitely end up with a superb effect and uh, this is how you create a proper headshot in Adobe After Effects so my name is TJ Style thank you so much for watching my video tutorial and I will see you guys next time take care everyone and thank you for watching